Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler and today we're playing Space Engineers. Today we are going to... Um, first I, I want to show you some uh, changes or um, things I have going on for the new Lunar Transporter. It's a small ship grid, uh, but it's, um, how I say it, it's a big ship, in fact, relatively big ship. And now um, I'm testing like this uh, small crane at the top. Um, another difference is that I um, changed the, the, the piping system. So I decided to replace the actual crane as um, previous models, like here. I, uh, I had like this double um, structure. One is um, the tube, the piping system, and the other one is the um, the um, structure itself with um, heavy industry blocks. Uh, then I tried like this single um, pipe system, and um, yeah, and then we have a double um, structure here. Uh, yes, and this is yet another um, iteration of the of, of the um, of the transporter. With um, I added two small uh, like robotic arms. The idea is to have uh, some sort of uh, mechanism to uh, to lock into um, objects or or modules that are, that are going to be somehow. Um, coupled with a with a with a transporter with a lunar transporter um, sort of the canard arm of the um, ISS right and this is the latest one it's a single robotic arm and I replace uh, to make room for a for a robotic arm I um, merged the like the the structure with the with the piping system with these new blocks from the um, last update from the game, uh, the most wanted uh, update, and yeah, and this I like um, I like this change because somehow it's it's leaner, and and it leaves um, a lot of space here in the middle to do things, uh, but. I'm not sure this is going to be that useful. It's it's um, yeah because really it's it's difficult. It has to be tested, but I I I, um, I doubt that this will be very useful. And to control that, I added a turret control. This is also something relatively new, and you can see it here. This is a turret control. This uh, uh, this turret control. What you do is you assign. Um, rotors and the camera also you can assign a tool to it and then you can control this with a, with a mouse for example uh, so you have like the azimuth rotor the elevation rotor and um, a camera and you have um, weapons or tools you can assign to it and this is very cool in fact, I will show you how it's working right now. I um, I assigned this to the to the to the copilot, and what we do is that we um, engage. Like this is the camera uh, currently assigned to it, and what we do is that we um, we activate the rotor first because it needs to to lower the rotor um, so the, the, the arm is, is at the top and it has a rotor uh, that will place it vertically and um, let me see if it's um, doing what because I don't see it yet oh no it's not, not doing it okay so ah because it's it's locked right the last time um, I think I locked it so what is it doing now? Ah yes, it resets the velocity. The I think the velocity is reset. Okay, so let's um, let's unlock it first. Rotor one. Um, yeah, because otherwise first 
we have to unlock it and second we have to assign a velocity so usually the velocity is minus one let's do that and now I think we should have some movement right yeah I hear it ah there we go so we lower the, 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 the arm and the next thing we do is we extend the, the, the piston it has in fact two pistons now um, look I'm moving now the, the, the arm with a, with a mouse so if I move the mouse um, up and down this is what, what it does and if I move it um, sideways this is what it does so it's, it's very cool because now we can like we have like this um, really fine grain movement of the of, of the of the arm or whatever tool you want to to use yeah it's it's easier it's not it's not like you have to um, trigger actions with with some hot bar key uh, or anything um, the, the the arm has another uh, piston that we can extend I think is the four yes so to get farther away so the idea is to like um, the idea is to lock something to lock a, a, an object a, a module that we want to to um, to couple with the transporter and to somehow keep it in place and then we can just um, bring it closer yeah and basically that, that that's the idea behind all of this and to to um, if we want to store the, the arm like put it back in its uh, original position then we um, First, we, we put the arm in, in, a, in, in like in a in a certain configuration, and then um, we trigger the the rotor, <coughs> and that's it. And then I have another action to reset the velocity. This will set the velocity to zero because otherwise it's all the time like um, being. Uh, like it, it has some some action going on there six and it's zero yeah that was it so yeah t you can tell me in the comments what do you think about this this tool i think it won't be um, very useful but i thought that it was a, a cool way because since this uh, torrent control came out i was hoping to um, make um, to show you guys make a video showing you guys um, how it works I um, already um, use this uh, turret control in uh, in the rover I have like this uh, big minor truck and it has the a drill in the back and I'm using uh, the turret control to control this this drill the cool thing is that for example I can activate the drill with a with a mouse button this is also very cool but since this one it doesn't recognize the the magnetic plate uh, as a tool that's a pity because we could trigger it with a with a mouse button for example but we cannot do that currently so it doesn't recognize it as a tool okay and beside that I um, I've been working on, on modules to attach to the to the transporter. The first one I wanted to make is the survival module, and this is it. And I will uh, show it. It's basically the same design. Well, it's not exactly the same, but um, I will I will uh, point out uh, some differences. Um, and yeah, it has a survival kit. So this is really uh, important if you um, if you are uh, starting the game. Um, so it's not part of the current transporter. 
but with this module you have the, the survival kit this here is a um, container so it's a medium container and we have a nuclear reactor we have a H2O2 generator here <coughs> very uh, this is very useful as well um, when you're starting the game and uh, we have some oxygen um, tanks here and this is from another mod um, this is a very cool mod I will um, leave you guys uh, a link to the mod in the description and the thing is that the the the, the oxygen tank the, the vanilla oxygen tank is really big and it's really hard to um, accommodate as you can see here first I had like um, the two things like the I had the vanilla generator and the oxygen generator instead of the the nuclear um, reactor but the issue there was that I wanted to have still access to the inventory because the bottles um, they they are like this um, they don't fit into small um, conveyors um, like uh, these ones like these ones right you cannot fit the, 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 the oxygen or hydrogen bottles through there it won't let me so uh, one thing I, I needed uh, was to uh, have like ac access to this um, uh, what's called this this conveyor hatch and I, it w at the end I did it but it was very ugly I, I think I don't think I have uh, one example no because this is empty now but it was quite ugly. I didn't. I didn't like it. Um, the, the, my solution was to put them like one in front of the other, and there was a, like a gap in the middle. I didn't like it. So I found this mod, and this mod um, lets me um, put bottles into it, right, to refill. Because of course, it it's important when you are in survival mode when you are um, starting the game that you are able to refill your bottles because you um, I don't know you you go for some um, scout uh, trips or you're doing something relatively far away and you want to take bottles with you and these bottles are really um, useful because they let you like um, yeah, prolong your 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 EVAs or whatever uh, you're doing, and of course, um, if you have access here to the oxygen uh, tank, you can refill your oxygen bottles. If you have access to the generator, you can fill both um, oxygen and hydrogen. Yeah, and that's that's. Um, that's really um, a good thing that's that's a, a plus and the other thing this um, um, this module has going on is it has a hydrogen engine so you can see it here below so that means that if um, yeah it can generate its own energy uh, if uh, we have um, enough hydrogen so that's um, it's it's like a, a yeah it's a survival module basically so this can be used in different ways one way is to um, uh, deploy it that's one way you can deploy it in um, yeah in a in a in a in a place where you want to build a base, for example. Um, also, you can uh, keep it in with a transporter. So you use basically the transporter as a you could use it as a starter ship, right? And uh, yeah, and then you have everything to to survive the the first um, the first stage of the game. Um, so what we're going to do today is that we're going to uh, 
we're going to try this. We're going to try to couple the 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 survival module with the uh, lunar transporter. And I want to try something because the idea behind this design is that once I couple the whatever module uh, to the lunar transporter, um, I can also have access to the to the whole ship. Some something similar with what we did with the multi-purpose um, utility vehicle um so let's yeah the first thing is is the following right we have we have our um module here but we want to merge it with the lunar transporter and for that we will need um merge blocks so the merge blocks that we are going to place are these ones the small ones and we'll put one in each of the in each of uh, the corners here so that in that way we can we can um, attach it to the lunar transporter and the other thing that we need to do is we need to close the gaps let me uh, use the right colors i think this is the right color yeah so we need to close the gaps in order for it to um, be uh, airtight one thing is that usually we would have trouble with this surface here if we we cannot when we are merging two um two ships you you cannot have like um these um faces that uh can can uh, or you can couple another block uh being uh, in front of each other because it confuses somehow the the merging algorithm so you must make sure that only the merge blocks are um, in front of each other uh, so and this uh, this will be possible because as you can see um, here uh, this type of entrance has these curved blocks and these curved blocks you, you can see that i cannot attach anything there and as long as i cannot attach anything um, it will work Ah, but wait a second. This this one will bring trouble. So yeah, we are going to uh, remove that one. These are creating trouble. So we don't want those. Ah, by the way, I didn't realize that we were using this type of uh, block. Okay, of the, in this type. Sorry, this type of uh, decoration. Yeah, it's like the um, what's it called the carbon fiber decoration so let's decorate everything with carbon fiber so yeah it, it, it gives like this rubbery look to it I imagine like this would be some sort of um, what's called the, some some sort of um, yeah um, special material to uh, isolate the like to to be flexible and at the same time isolate or yeah create this air tightness okay so here we don't have that that's good i don't know i don't remember now why i had these other blocks that i just took out from the entrance yeah so the with this uh we should be ready that looks good and now let's spawn in the lun the lunar transporter x 
Hex Lunar Transporter. So I've seen that some of you already have been trying this out. Um, just let me know in the comments below um, about your experience. What do you think we could improve uh, from this design? And uh, yeah, if you have uh, any trouble with it. So now what we have to do here is um, we have to replace those corners by merge blocks basically and that we will do it um, like this let me change again one two three and four and also in the I don't know if to make this a permanent feature, these this merge blocks right here. Probably I should. To always have the possibility to merge something there. And let's um, also create a shortcut in the hotbar. First, let's make the group. Uh, let's make. So we have the group now and let's bind it. Toggle block on off, that's it. Okay, so let's go for it. Uh, do we have... We have a camera there, right? Um, but we don't have it here. Let's let's bind the other camera. Camera load. This is an important camera. Okay, there we go. Now we can just um, start this thing. Well, everything is on. We can um, this. Turn off the RCS. Yeah. And yeah, let's let's just the camera is a seven. So slowly we are we are approaching. We go higher, I'm not sure. Yeah, but it's slowly going there. Well, so remember what we said, right? Like, this is like a, a helicopter. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, okay. It's taking some time. So this is tricky here because um, because we um, there's there's really um, not much space. It's very tight. So what that means is that uh, we have to to, to align the, the ship very well. Okay, now we are like colliding already, and I think we are, yeah, you can see there, right, how, how tight it is, 
and I think um, the camera is somehow um, I think we have to align the camera to this block here ah uh, one important thing is that I have to turn the blocks off because of course the down blocks will tend to um, lock first There we go. Now we can... We can turn them on again. There we go. Now everything is coupled. Let's see. Yep. And as you can see, we didn't have trouble um, merging the blocks because as i said these these uh, blocks um, cannot really uh, blend together but i think this is airtight so let, let's try that by the way I, I this is the first time i tried this i was um just waiting for the video to to, to come out in order to um to do this so what we are going to do I think I have here um, yeah I think we have here all the, 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 the pressurizing and the pressurizing let me remember because I, I don't remember very much these button panels middle button panel what are the actions button one I oh know it's the five right depressurize pressure I ah, know but this is only for this um, block but what I want to do is that I want to trigger all the pressurizer well th there's um, an easier way to do this just um, type in the pressurize so we want to pressurize the, uh, the start Ah, but what? We don't have. This is the timer airlock uh, pre. Uh, this the aft. And where's the four? Timer airlock pre and the F. Ah, here's the yeah. This one and this one. All these ones. So we are going to trigger them now. Pressurizing. I have to. Com completed. I have to uh, have some some sort of um, I don't know button to, to trigger this like that at, all at once. Okay, now we see that we are a hundred percent. Well, we can see it here. What happens if we open this door? Nothing happens. That's expected. We are pressurized. So in fact, this is pressurized. If we open that one, we are still pressurized. And if we open that one, we're still pressurized. And if we open that one, we're still pressurized. So mission accomplished we we um, can have pressurization all along the the the, the module this is what um, I wanted because well in fact this is a feature of the of the Eagle transporter in the um, sci-fi TV show space 1999 um, they would have for example this this compartment would be like um, uh, for traveling like for VIP um, personnel to be transporter transported or it could be anything it, this could be also a medical facility and um, the thing is that you you had this like you had this um, access um, through the whole ship without having to make an EVA so this is um, this is important right because in space you don't want to be um, you don't want to 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 be uh, doing EVAs. Um, well, you you will you would restrict the EVAs as much as possible because they are dangerous. Many things can go wrong. You are exposed to a hostile environment, and if you can access the other parts of the ship without um, uh, making an EVA, then um, yeah, that's convenient. 
um, so yeah we basically we did it we 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 have this now so now this ship could be um, yeah I think it could be also a starter a, st a starter ship right now we can um, we can craft the some basic components here and get um, yeah our base started one issue though is that the the back part here the um, you see the there is this connector in the back part we have the connector and this uh, and the connector currently I is not airtight so once i couple this with uh, another um, connector um the interior is not airtight so this is something that uh, the motor is working on um he, or he reported it um, he was working on on that and uh, yeah the, there in, uh, the, the promise is that this will be airtight once this is airtight then it's really um the end goal here that you can have such a ship uh, that can dock with a station and the access to it and uh, the access to the whole ship is airtight so i can imagine that for security reasons you would um, you would close the the, the 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 doors in between right the the access doors from the aft and and the, and the front section you will close it for security uh but otherwise um yeah it's um it would be airtight and and this is really convenient okay let's uh, do something i just want to see how it behaves um when we take it for a spin um, but first I want to see do we have access here no we don't have access well this is something I have to add also a, 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 a shortcut for the connector so we have a connector module connector Oh, it seems that this this is this one. Okay. Uh, so we are going to switch lock. Yeah. So now it should be locked. Yes. Now we are sharing inventories because the 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 merge blocks only share power but not inven inventories. Also for the back connector uh, the thing about the back connector is that it doesn't only share power but also um, inventories but unfortunately in the small version it doesn't have any connection to uh, conveyor systems so it shares inventory with its own um, inventory because the, the the connector has its own um, inventory um, so it can take some load but it's not shared with the rest of the ship so and this is also a work in progress as um, i understand so i think this is this connector will be really um a really important mod in the game at least for what i want to do so let's um yeah let's let's take it for a spin so what's the status now we can switch the rcs off and yeah we basically turn this off and ah yes one other thing is that we need um we need to access the the landing gear No, I think this is these are the plates. I think they're not they're not they're not grouped. Yeah.
Yes, these are these ones. Okay, we should first make a group. And we should bind it, because otherwise it doesn't let us um, Won't let us. Take off. Now we we could do that. Okay, so let's see. Let's start our journey here. Everything seems fine. So as you can see the radar is picking up um, the other Transporters, those those are these uh, blue um, signals. Let's start turning. See when I um, tilt the transporter, the velocity vector also uh, moves in the direction of the tilt. So I'm not using currently RCS. I'm just using the lift um, thrusters to do this. So yeah, basically most of the time you won't uh, use the, the lift. All the uh, that there's the base okay all the um, the thrusters in this ship are hydrogen based but I think the ship has um, big um, big hydrogen tank so I don't expect the, it to have a short uh, a short running um, what's called like you you wouldn't have to refuel often that's that's what I want to say okay so you still have to some grow some distance some enemy ship well if we if we get close to this one or handling facility okay or she will start shooting because we, uh, we have a turret but I don't want that uh, there's the, the base yeah so basically you know, it handles very well I mean there's no problem with the like I don't feel uh, the the module, the survival module, basically at all. I, I couldn't say that there's a big difference. And of course we are uh, we have uh, more weight, but hopefully the yeah I think that the, the the module is also balanced. The weight is balanced, so that's uh, a reason why we don't feel it.
We are currently at 230 meters high altitude. Yeah, we should try to decelerate. The way to do this without RCS is just to point the ship uh, in the other direction. Also tilting it uh, to help. Let's press the RCS. And see where we are. Okay, the other transporters. Well, we can we can also um, guide. Use the the, 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 the allies markers to, for guidance. Let's try landing the ship. Let's see, it's a, it's a busy, <laughs> it's a busy base. Let's find a parking spot. I think we can park in this corner. Okay, now we can just uh, use the cameras to align. Well, first, We can use the, the fire. Yeah, this is a good camera here. And now we can just. can just um, align with the cockpit Ooh, we're too close It has a good visibility, the, the, the cockpit, right? What do you think? I think this, this um, reinforced windows mod is uh, great. Okay, so yeah, we are good to land. That's it. And we can always um, unlock the
of two locks we were still like a little bit um, high yeah we have to engage in some little thing here we, because uh, now now they are ready to okay now the yeah I think that's good okay now if we want to to exit we should pressurize this one or well, let's pressurize this one first Completed. So now let's depressurize this one. So this is what you would do, right? You will close um, the door to the to the module. Now this uh, room is pressurized, and you will we will depressurize this module. Depressurizing. Completed. There we go. There's some some air that escapes because um, air gets trapped in this um, intersection. That's why we saw some air. Otherwise, it will it will um, store all the oxygen. Also, we are in creative, so the, the oxygen tanks start like full. So, yeah, we have to keep that in mind. But in any case, there's some air trapped here, and that's why um, we will always lose air if we do this. But all, but you see that the rest of the ship is uh, is pressurized. So there, well, we 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 did a pretty good job parking the ship. By the way, look at that. So yeah that's it guys i think we are over um i'm very happy with the result this this was something i was trying um a long time ago and i think the 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 um, how it's called the unions here between the the module and the rest of the ship are quite lean they're very they look very good i'm really happy with that okay guys so i hope you um like the video um give me feedback um uh, of what um, your thoughts are about this and hope to see you in the next one this is cyber settler signing off